really quick, I was looking at Bed Bath & Beyond, their little circular for the holidays, and I want to congratulate, you guys remember I did a review on, it was called the Mighty Mug, and you stuck the Mighty Mug down and it had a suction cup at the bottom, and you couldn't tip it over. You remember that? Yeah, well, guess what? That's right. That was last year's Toys in the Kitchen on Cooking with Jack's show. And now the Mighty Mug, congratulations to them, they're exclusively only at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I don't know if you can buy it off their website anymore or if you have to go to the store now, but they got a deal with Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm so happy for them. Uh, hey, it's kind of like a little success for us too. We got it first here on the show. Okay, so let me show you what I got here first. Okay, it's called the Gel Pro Elite, world's most comfortable floor mat. Now I have a little mat that I stand on when I do the show. When I'm cooking, I use this same spot for cooking my Thanksgiving dinner as I do on the show. So this is what I'm gonna do. Wow, this sucker's thick and heavy. This is their Elite, Elite Gel Pro. Yay, is that cool? It's very heavy and very thick and very cool and very cushy. Hold on a minute. I think I hit the dog's water bowl. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> cool. Oh, I'm taller. Look how much taller I am. Lisa writes me from the Gel Pro Elite. Uh, it's a gelpro.com is the website. And it says, I'm writing to see if you'd be willing to do a product review of our new uh, Gel Pro Elite Comfort Mat. Gel Pro Elite is our first new gel product in seven years, wow. And we think you'll agree it's the most comfortable mat in the world, Gel Pro Elite, has a new shape, contains four layers of comfort, and starting October 15th, which has already passed, uh, will come in an assortment of colors. How cool is that? The whole episode, I'm gonna use this mat, I'm gonna stand on it, I'm gonna move around on it, and I'm probably gonna keep it in the kitchen at all times, but I'll let you know how it feels, and if it feels any different than the, uh, the other mat that I was using that I just hurled over there. All right, let's go to the next one. You ready? Let's let me go get it. Okay, so this product is called Bio-Derived Picnic Kit. It's a bioplastics by nature, made with 60% bio-based nat natural and annually renewable resources. Um, so this is a picnic in a box. And when they sent this to me, I thought, oh, I don't do picnics. I don't know anybody does picnics. But then as I sat with this box, I haven't even opened it yet. I sat with this, I thought, wait a minute. This isn't just for picnics. This is great if I go camping, uh, if I go to the beach or to the lake, depending on what kind of type of person you are. If you're having a, a family barbecue in the backyard, this is a setting for 12. That's right, so let's open it up right now and show you what comes in this picnic in a box. It's really cool and it's all like GMO free, pulp free, water and, and oil resistant. It's really cool. It's like as all natural as you can get in a box. If you care about the environment, this might be a great gift for somebody. Okay, first thing we have is our plates. They are biodegradable. They're, you can rewash these or you can toss them, but it's kind of like those Glad or Ziploc containers. They're disposable, but everybody washes them and uses them again our cups and they're nice size cups. That's the one cup right there. And then if you have like salads or soups, these are, remember they're heat resistant. So you put soup in it. There you go. Little cakes, desserts, I would use this for. Wow, it's all coming to me now. What do we got here? Oh, and here's all your dinnerware, your, or your lunchware. It's knives, forks, and spoons. What else we got? Oh, look at this and a nice trash bag to clean up your mess. So, this all comes in there. I have the websites to all these products are down below. If it's something you're interested in, click on the link, go to their site, and voila. And you have Picnic in a Box. Okay, now this one I got from Vat19, and it's called Toast It. It's got two toaster bags. Basically, you put your sandwich in here, it keeps crumbs from happening all over the place, uh, and it's supposed to come out nice and grilled. Here's the two bags. I'm gonna use one of them right now. Put that over here. Okay, normally you'd put butter on the outside of the grilled cheese, but since this is going in a bag, I'm gonna put just, just a little bit for flavoring on the inside. Put some strips of cheese in here. Do, 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 do. It's a 
a very thick bag, heat resistant, so it's not gonna melt. Take a look and see. It's sticking out just a little bit, but this is how the picture shows it. Doesn't smell like toast, it smells more like. Okay. It melted it. Look, it melted the bag. Seriously, it melted the bag. That was melting plastic I was smelling. Ah, right there, see that? Right there. All right. Well, on to the next device. Now here is a product line from Eastern Tennessee. They contacted me like the list came in the last minute. I wasn't even planning on doing this. It's called Bee in Your Bonnet Organic Infused Honey and they've infused different flavors into honey. So you have Harvest Spice, you have Ghost Chili, there's some peppermint. I, well, I'm not sure what I'd use peppermint for. There's hibiscus. I don't even know what that tastes like. Vanilla bean, that's awesome. This one excites me even more, the aged balsamic right there. And then you've got cinnamon, of course, what a great idea. And you've got jalapeno. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I start talking about honey, he's walking by, he's like, honey, is there, we got honey to taste? So, here you go. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna taste these front four. Vanilla bean. We're gonna start with that one, okay? Do me a favor. Wait, so we're only doing the front four? We're only doing the front four. Because we don't have a lot of time. It's a long episode. Okay. Give it a smell. It wow. Like honey. It smells like honey. <laughs> he smells like honey. Okay, ready? Take a little bit. Try not to drip all over. Here, let's get it back here. I'm not taking a lot. Here. There you go. Got it? Mm -hmm. Go. That's really good. That's pretty good. That's so, it's not very, look at it. It's not, I don't know if it's because it's infused or it's been not in the refrigerator, but oh look gosh, at it. the ghost one's up front. Hang on, hang on. So do you taste the vanilla strong or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, good vanilla bean flavor in this. Good balance. <laughs> Aged balsamic. Now he'll put balsamic, my son, you'll put it just right on a sandwich. Yeah. He'll make a sandwich and drizzle balsamic right on top of it. Wow. That's a trippy taste. That's so weird together. I never would have thought honey and balsamic, would you? No. But now you can, it's, it's almost like if you did a balsamic reduction and you drizzled it. But it's good? Yeah. Hibiscus. I don't know what hibiscus is. I, I've never had hibiscus. Oh, it's tangy. Your glands going off? Kind of tart. Mm -hmm. That's not bad either. Once again, another blend, a good blend. Yeah, I like hibiscus. We, we've never tasted anything with ghost chili, have we? Mm -mm. We have no, no idea. No, no, no. When we went to Joe at Red Robin review that ghost chili. Oh burger. my god! <laughs> All right. It's so much. We my heart's racing. Jordan. If I drop dead, I leave my show to my son. All right, ghost chili. Go ahead. And this is acting totally different too. They're all, did I just gleek? I totally did. <laughs> you ready? All right, go. Oh my gosh, hold on. <coughs> okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, that was a bad idea. Okay, it's burning my, my mouth out big time. Oh, I don't even know what to do with it. Hold on. Look as much as you did. Oh, oh my God. Okay. That's the hottest. Oh my God. That's the hottest honey I've ever eaten. East Tennessee's laughing at me right now. Oh. 
Not very well balanced. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry about the faucet. That doesn't help. Yes, it does. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. Now my nose is running. What? Anybody would eat that? I have no idea. I'm going to cry like a baby for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs>